Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very long overdue Project 100 uses update. I believe this is my third update. I've been doing this project for almost one year and I'm only on the third update. It's just not a priority for me to like continue to update unless I have really exciting news to share with you, which I do this time. So for my Project 100 uses, I was inspired by both Chic Geek and Too Much Tosh. And I just want to get more use out of the products I already have. 100 uses just seems like it's not that much until you start tracking and realize how little you use each item when you have a collection my size. And getting over that 100 mark just feels like you're getting your money's worth a bit more, if that makes sense. And I am tracking almost my entire makeup collection. So if you have any products in particular, you would love to see an update on how I'm doing and maybe you want me to like bring it to the forefront, try and get to 100 uses, um, you can definitely let me know. I don't update on the exact same selection of products each time. I try and mix it up a little bit so you get a broader sense of my makeup collection. Last time you guys wanted to know how many uses I have on my Urban Decay Born to Run, so I will be sharing that this time as well as the products I hit over 100 uses on that were featured in this project. I have a couple others that have hit 100 or surpassed it or are getting very close and I will do a um, products I've used over a hundred times each kind of video that will feature more than what you're seeing in these updates. I hope that made sense um, because I have quite a few items now. I just want, I want a few more before I film that video. Because you guys requested it, I pulled in my Urban Decay Born to Run palette to give you an update on where I'm at with this guy. So I have tracked every single time I've used this palette as I got it in my collection after I started my makeup tracking spreadsheet. Here is what mine is looking like. I do have some dips, but no pans yet. I have used this palette 25 times. And once I realized that when I was planning to film this video, I thought that was a shame because I really do enjoy this and I would love to use it more. So I have pulled this in to my most recent Shop My Stash to get some more use out of it. And I really do like this palette. It's not the most magnificent formula I've ever used, but I feel like it's very beginner friendly and does offer quite a bit of variety in here. I really enjoy my time with this palette. And while there are some duds in here, overall I enjoy it. And it's very buildable and user friendly, which I definitely appreciate. So this is at 25 uses. I apologize if you hear background noise more than just my kids upstairs, which you always hear in my videos, but Domino, our kitten, decided he needed to join me today while I'm filming, and he's getting into absolutely everything. As I met my goal on the last cheek product I included, I've met, I hit over 100 uses in this project in a blush, a highlight, and now I want to share about a bronzer product, and this is something I would like to hit pan on this year. It's the Kevin Aquan Contour Powder in the shade Light. I clearly do not have pan. Like I said, I wanna hit pan in it this year. The dip is not even that significant. I'm not sure if you can even really tell there's a dip at all in my lighting. I have used this powder 80 times, eight zero. 20 more uses until I hit 100 uses and I don't think there's going to be pan in this product after 100 uses. Um, I haven't been using it a lot recently. I'm working on a contour powder in my whole collection project pan as well as a few bronzers in other projects. So I just haven't had the time to dedicate to this product yet, but I'm going to have to focus on it soon if I want to hit pan in it in 2022. So... I'm going to have to keep that in mind, which is why I put it in today's update. 80 uses. I'm so close to hitting 100, which is absolutely shocking to me. It's such a tiny and expensive product. It's definitely gotten the use I feel like it deserves over the years, and yet it's not showing pan or really all that much usage. 
this project just shows me like the difference in formulas, how long it takes to use up makeup, like 80 uses and there's hardly a diff. This is going to take me forever to finish. Next up, I wanted to share an update on my ColourPop Dream Street palette. I used this as part of my look today. Again, a palette I don't have any pans, but I do have quite a few dips happening in here. I would love to hit a pan or two in this palette this year as it is getting older. In my last update, which was in December, I had used this 32 times and now I'm at 34. Wow, I've used it two times in the last four months. That is pathetic. So this is coming upstairs with me as well to get more use out of. I'm very close to hitting pan and shooting star, I feel like. I have quite a dip happening in water bearer, which is what I have on my outer corners today. So this palette has not been a priority, which is a shame because it is one of my favorites. The Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette is the first high-end palette that I bought for myself and this palette is currently sitting at 51 uses. That is up from, at the I only shared this palette in my intro which was the end of May of last year and it was at 40 uses. So again, I have not been reaching for these palettes that much. That's what happens when you have as many palettes as I do and I don't always like to have five plus palettes. I just caught the biggest whiff of chocolate. It still smells so good. I don't always like to have five plus palettes open to do my makeup at a time. Like it'd be very easy for me to just choose to work on white chocolate and really amp up those numbers, but I don't like doing that all the time. So it's gotten 11 more uses from me in the last 10 or so months. Um, yeah, I really need to use this a lot more. I would love pans showing in this by the end of the year as well, but who knows if that is going to happen. An update on my Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells trio. You did see this um, in my last update again in December. It was at 47 uses and no pans. It now has two pans showing and is at 77 uses. So I've used it 30 times since the last update. I feel really good about that. I have pan in the brow bone shade as well as the eyelid shade. So now I would love to hit pan in the crease shade. This is one of two focus palettes for pan those eyeshadows. So they are getting much more use this year and I feel really good about that. I would love to finish this trio off completely someday. One of the most expensive palettes in my collection, this was gifted to me, I didn't buy it, but it is the Sephora Pro Warm Palette. This is currently going in Pan Those Eyeshadows, I just rolled it in in my most recent update and I've gotten a lot of use out of this palette um, since the time I have had it. We are up to 59 uses on this guy, which is quite a bit since in the intro of Project 100 uses, um, it was at 32. So I've definitely been using this palette and I'm now working on this orange shade over here. I'll be excited to see what this looks like after 100 uses. Now on to the most exciting part. First, the highlighter I want to share with you is the Becca Cosmetics Highlight in Champagne Pop. This now has 100 uses on it. There is no pan, but there is a huge dip happening in here. I do not focus my brush in in one particular spot on this product, which if I really, really wanted to hit pan, I should have done, but I didn't. Now my next goal will be to hit pan on this. I'd love to see a pan showing in this by the end of the year, but this is what 100 uses looks like on this. For me, someone who is very light-handed with her makeup, and lastly, I now have 100 uses on my ABH Modern Renaissance palette. I am very excited about that. This is what my palette is now looking like. There are three pans in here and many, many dips. I would like a few more pans showing in this palette, but I'm very happy to have finally surpassed the 100 uses mark. 
And that just feels like such a great accomplishment. Like when I saw 100 uses in this palette on my spreadsheet, it just felt so good. I'm very ho close to hitting two more pans in Golden Ochre and Bon Fresco. I'm just very happy with how this palette is looking and I would like to hit those two pans by the end of the year in Golden Ochre and Bon Fresco, but for now I'm going to put this away. I have been using it quite a bit so far this year. But that is my update for my project 100 uses. Two products hit 100 since the last update, which I feel really good about. Um, I do want to get back to updating this project on a more frequent basis. I have a few things that are very close to hitting 100 uses on and I'm very happy with the progress I'm making. Slow and steady, but I have been rotating through my collection a bit better in the last year or two, so I'm not necessarily getting like 50 uses on one palette and ignoring 50 other palettes. Um, lately, I've been using a palette, you know, five to 10 times and then rotating through another one, if that makes sense. But that's everything for this project pan update. It was pretty short and sweet, which is surprising for me. Again, in the comments down below, let me know a product that you want an update for next time and I'll be sure to do it. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.